Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Provence. Good King Rene in EU4. So we are doing some stuff and things. Um, we've got our siege guy coming to help out. 10k troops is a bit too many. Let's pull one off. We have 38 war score. Clemson's going after Morocco. We don't actually need to siege down this fort. Let's see what this next tick is. And yeah, it's a disease, disease outbreak. That sucks. I don't really want to sit in this war for very long. And we already got what I wanted out of this. We got some battles, which gave us prestige. We got some battles, which gave us army tradition. We eased two people out, gained a little bit of money. Um, and we got like, what, 12, I think, prestige from each peace deal with the secondary participants. And now we can get some with this. So all together, it's like 30, 40 prestige, some money, good stuff, right? Is the song too, is the music too loud? I can turn it down. This is a very loud song, I agree. Okay, so, um, so when, when trying to decide, like, is it worth sieging this out? I just don't think that it is. Uh, we would rather be at peace, extra institution spread rate, other stuff. We don't want to suffer extra disease outbreaks, that kind of nonsense. And we already probably have enough to get what I want, which is like war reps. Money. Got our bigger UI mod working. I do value prestige a little bit more than money at the moment, maybe. Maybe not. Nah, I kind of value money more right now. I don't care about his alliances. Show strength? Um... I mean, it's 300 Monarch points, and it does give us more power projection, like, threshold to rely upon in the future, but we get zero prestige from a show strength, which is kind of weird, if you think about it. We get no money from it, no war reps. Pretty much all of the things that I declare this war for, we don't get. We've already humiliated a rival. We did that when we fought um, Burgundy. We don't need that for the age bonus. No, I, I think I'm going to go with my gut, guys. I'm going to just, we're just going to piece him out for war up some money. I'm not going to do anything else. This is only going to be a, a short, shortish truce. Um, we're not going to break his alliances because those are easy people to beat. Although Mantua is kind of annoying with their nine, uh, their level three fort. A little bit less money, more prestige seems pretty good to me. Maybe. Nah. Get money from looting. We're gonna get money from having our, our army free to do other stuff. One drawback, I suppose, is that we do miss out on 10 war score for not controlling Baron. That is a, a pretty big downside to not having that fort occupied. You know what? We have enough troops from our subject to um, to make this siege not very expensive. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll siege it out. Okay, so this guy's going to bring 6k. This guy's got 1k. 6 and 1 is 7. We need a total of 9. So we'll make it 10. We'll leave behind just 3 troops. That'll force Lorraine to want to come over and help out pretty badly. And we'll just loot for a bit. If I were to keep my troops there, he would possibly not come to help us out. Our admin point cap is not reached yet, don't worry about that. We've got an extra 100 points because of the Renaissance penalty. Do I still play EVE Online? No. No reason to turn off the fort in Grabundan. Um, I'm not paying for it. Lorraine's paying for it.
What was that about Nevers? Nevers is not a personal union, right? They're normally just a vassal. I don't think that anything weird's going on with Burgundy. Having some seriously awful luck with the siege. We went disease outbreak, status quo, supplies shortage. Yuck. Oh well. Saxony did a thing. We just get another status quo. Oh my god. Four siege ticks, so we got one status. With a three siege pip leader. The odds of that seem quite low to me. Can I roll Mary Burgundy? Uh, theoretically, we could if they weren't our rival. <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Lucid, thank you for your donation, man. Wow. I got you into Battlegrounds now. Got a very Civilization One More Turn feel to it. Yeah, it feels like... Um, reminded me a lot of Dota. When you win, you want to play again. Because you want to win again. Because it was fun. And... England's no longer considered to be a great power. Wow. So yeah, when you win, you want to play again because you, you want to chase that feeling. And when you lose, you want to play again because you... You want to win. So either way, you want to play again. It's tough. Tough to deal with. I cannot believe how bad the siege has gone. I think I think we've like in 448 days we've managed to get four siege status. Good lord. It's just so bad. 35 admin points for 10 loyalty with the nobles. Well, we are kind of low on admin points. Sorry, low on manpower. And I would like them to be happy at some point. On the other hand, it's my admin point. It's just no. Take Diplotech four years early and gain innovativeness. I'd rather not. Good god. So this is why I didn't want to do this siege, is that this seems like it's extreme, but this can happen, right? It can just take for goddamn ever to finish the siege, and then you're just sitting in this war for like an extra year when you don't need to be. We can't vassalize. The the war goal was to um, humiliate. We don't border this guy, so there's there's no way to actually fight him without using humiliate. Oh my god, it finally fell. Alright, so I want... Um, I don't want show strength. I don't think we need it. I don't think we need the power projection. I mostly want prestige, money, war ups, that kind of stuff. So 125 ducats and 12 prestige. Or we could take no ducats and get an extra end rival. Go for even more prestige. 17 prestige versus 12 prestige. I think I'd rather have the 125 ducats. 125 ducats or 5 prestige. Are we in the HRE yet? Yes. 11% control of Genoa? Yeah, we're at 11% so far. Okay, yeah, let's just take this peace deal. They're forced to, rele uh, to remove Milan and Savoy. We'll leave our ourselves there, because I don't really care. Okay, intentionally black flag so we can march home. We're still over the relationship limit because I am just willing to pay for it because I want France and Austria at the moment. Genoa still is at war with Theodoro and still kind of thinks that they want troops. Let's just go scout this real quick and see if he's got an army. Yeah, his whole army is hanging out here instead of going over there and actually sieging down Theodoro. So Genoa's being really dumb. Did Crimea like tributary yeah theodoro tributary crimea tributary theodoro genoa attacked theodoro and then didn't bother to send any of their army over there that's smart
That's interesting. Okay. Next month, we'll have Renaissance. Let's switch back to Protect Trade. Um, we could wait for this other province to get it to save some ducats, but I don't think that's worthwhile. We'll just pay the 58 ducats right now. Uh, it says we're going to lose 78 admin points, but it's lying to us because it's not going to make that happen. We then take tech. And then we can unlock our first city group. So we've already decided on innovative, right? Go ahead and knock that out. We do have a lot of Diplo points and a lot of military points. I think we should spend these Diplo and Mill points taking our capital to, uh, to 30 dev. Right? Rather than taking this tech early. Especially, we, we want to wait till we have um, at least one more idea for the innovativeness gain. So we're getting three instead of two if we're going to take tech early. We'll probably just sort of like slowly spend our monarch points on deving the capital until um, until someone threatens to take the innovativeness from us. And then we'll then we'll take it. See if we can sell the institution to Mr. France Man. Please say yes. Offer knowledge sharing. He says no because he has loans. But France, why? You have such good income. You have one loan. One. One loan, so you won't do it? I want to declare war on him. All right, well, we have CBs on stuff and things and people. We were to attack over here, we got to fight our ally. We have a truce with Brittany. Let's see if our subjects have claims we can use. We got claims on these two, but we have a truce with them. We got claims on everything over here, so we could attack Trier. Bohemia, Cologne, Palatinate. Attack the Palatinate, fight a whole bunch of dudes. We can attack Alsace, fight a whole bunch of dudes. It's a lot of dudes. I don't think we like these options. Why you are not killing Genoa? Do they have allies? Yeah, they're kind of allied to our ally France, so... Be a little tricky. A little tricky to beat France at this stage. Granted, we could take Miltech soon, maybe do something with that, but... I think we finally have the capacity to build these boats. Well, we're just gonna have to keep an eye on this French loan situation. As soon as he pays off that loan, I definitely want to uh, offer him knowledge. We could offer it to just, like, anyone else for now. Tunis, Portugal, let's see, who has the most income? Portugal makes 11.86. It's not bad, it's not a France, but it's close. Let's offer it to them. Offer it to someone who almost has it? You... It reduces how long it's off. It's uh, like you'll be able to take it, like reoffer it again soon. Are you saying that we should do that because you think France will pay off their loan soon? It's an option. Bohemia probably has pretty good income. Yeah, they actually have better income, almost as much as France, honestly. Nineteen ducats. Yeah, they're like halfway there. Let's offer it to them. England's going after Scotland. Unfortunate for him. Poland has accepted peace with Naples. Okay, so do we want to do Condottieri right now? Genoa is the only one that would accept. We could take Tech 6 and have a tech advantage over Genoa. Rent our troops out to him right before we attack him. 
But no, that won't work. We gotta fight France. We could just make some money. If I rent my whole army out, we could probably get enough money to build a marketplace. Do we still need Pope Alliance? I think it's a good investment long term to just keep it so that he doesn't rival us and decide that he wants to kill us. Milan's declared war upon Mantua. It means Milan is fighting against Alsace, Ulm, and Switzerland. Interesting. Um, Milan called the Pope in on this war. I wonder if we could rent our army out to the Pope. No, that won't work. I can't do that because they're at war with Switzerland and we have a truce with Switzerland. I could theoretically rent to Alsace and Ulm and we could see down Avignon. If Mantua somehow managed to win the war, they might return Avignon to us when they separate peace the Pope. Interesting. You want to be a really, really good ally, guys? <laughs> Should we be like a really great ally to the Pope? And rent our entire army out to his enemy and go siege down his province? The same province that gave us early access to the Renaissance? <laughs> Seems like a, a real great thing to do to him, right? Unfortunately, Switzerland's still my rival, so even though he's the biggest and has the most income, I will not be able to rent to him. I could probably rent to Mentua, actually. Alright, let's go to full maintenance. Come back from Savoy briefly, and let's just check our options. So I rent the whole stack out. He's got the cash on hand. That's enough money for a marketplace. We just have to give him some subsidies to make this possible. Yeah, let's do this. This seems like a great option. Mantua has, I assume, the most money. Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, we'll offer him subsidies. As much as we possibly can for one for a couple months. Ah, shoot, I hope I didn't just get myself black flagged. Yeah, crap, I think I just did. Whoops. Or not not black flag, but like not not black flag. And I need to be black flagged so that I can rent the Kondotiri most likely. They'll give us 125.28 monies. Good. Do we want to lose 100 admin points? And Anjou will be the seat of a new cardinal. So, we're looking to steal a cardinal from... From where? Doesn't really matter where, but some adjacent province has a cardinal. We can steal it. Or we could say no, and that's better. Also, we're at 995 uh, Diplo points, so it's probably time to do a dev click. Only we have prosperity. Ooh. We could <laughs> we could do a diplo bank. <laughs> what do you think? Should we go completely nuts and like diplo bank it up already? I don't know. I'm gonna take a short break here. I'm gonna think about things a little bit between episodes. Let me know what your thoughts are in the chat down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Otherwise, stick around on Twitch and I'll see you guys in a second. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.